Hey, how you doing? Phil McCordy here with another origami Japanese art of paper folding video. Today, we're gonna to be making an origami balloon or ball or cube, depending on how you squish it into what shape you want. And here's how to do it. First, we're gonna start with our regular letter size or A4 size sheet of paper and we're gonna turn it into a square. You may know how to do this, you may not. You can forward if you already know, but if you don't, I will show you. You wanna line up this edge and fold it into a triangle here and make a nice little crease there. And you'll get a nice little overhanging bit right here. And that's the bit we want to get rid of to turn our piece of paper into a square. So I like to flip it over and fold it back. And that helps me align the edges here as I fold it down to make sure that it's really, really parallel with that line. Just like that. And then, open it up and fold it the other way and do this fold really strong use your thumbnail and really scrape that fold over work it in and then carefully start the rip at the very top put your fingers right together and pull apart gently so that the rip starts right on the fold and it will continue down the fold and it will rip in a perfectly straight line. And that is how to make a straight line cut without scissors. All right, now let's fold our origami balloon. What we're gonna do first is use that fold we already created and fold your paper in half, diagonally again, just like that. And then take this piece and move it up to the top. Now, if you've done the frog fold with me, this will all seem very familiar because it does start with the same number of folds just like the frog. Now flip it over. We're gonna skip a step now that we're experts at folding the frog and fold this side over so that it matches just like that. And so you've got a perfect square or a perfect diamond. Now what you wanna do is find that open section and reach into the very middle and just make sure that it behaves as you pull it apart. Stick your fingers in there and, and make sure the paper isn't doing this. If it does that, that's okay. Just stick your finger in there and push it. Make it behave. Origami, I think, should be called the Japanese art of making paper behave because that's half the time that you spend folding things. All right, so we got four flaps. Two on this side, two on this side. You're gonna fold each one of those four flaps up to the top just like this. One, two, and then flip it over. Three, four. Whoa. And now we're gonna take each one of these edges and fold them into the center. So it's, sometimes it helps if you rotate it towards you. It helps you make that fold. So this corner goes into that center line right there. And we're gonna do that three more times. So I'm gonna rotate the paper so that it, I can face the fold or m move that corner away from me each time. Good, and flip it over, do the same thing. This corner goes right into the center. And this corner goes right into the center. And there we go. So you'll notice now that you've got one section that's all folded over itself and one section that's got these little flaps on it. So those flaps are what we need next. So you take those flaps and you'll notice that these foldy over bits that we just made, each of them has a little pocket inside. If you carefully open it up with your fingernail, you'll see that there's a pocket there. And what you wanna do is you wanna take that flap and you wanna stuff it in the pocket. And push it down and push it down and sort of like roll it with your fingers until it goes as far as it can. It's not gonna look like it, it's perfect, it's gonna sort of stick out, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. You can just get it to stick out just that much, that looks fine. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other three. So open up the pocket, stick that tip in, and then fold it back down. And again here. We're doing this so that the balloon doesn't explode 
back into a full sheet of paper when we try to inflate it. Stick the tip in to the pocket. And one more time, there's the pocket right there. Stick the tip in. And there we go. And now what you do is if you look closely, one of these ends has a little hole in it. Can you see that? There's a hole right there. What you do is you take it and you put it to your lips and you blow. <laughs> Don't do it like that. You should hold on to it a little bit better than that. <laughs> Let's try that again. What you do is you take it and you put it to your lips and you blow. And it doesn't always perfectly inflate, so you can actually grab it with your fingers and you can pull it a little bit to make it inflate better. And then you push it a little bit and then you can go back and blow some of the creases out of it. And there you go. You have a balloon or a ball, depending. Or if you're careful and you fold it over in just the right way, there you go. You can actually turn it into a full cube like that if you make sure that all these lines are here. There you go. That is how to make an origami balloon. But wait, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Phil, every time we fold origami, you talk about folding the paper smaller and smaller and the smaller iterations. Where are the smaller iterations, Phil? All right, fine. Now, if you don't know, if you haven't seen one of the origami videos I posted before, here's the extra secret tip. Here is the square of paper that we started with. But if you fold it in half this way, and in half this way, and open it back up again, you get four squares instead of just one big square. And if you use your super special origami magic to cut one of those squares out by ripping it, now instead of just one paper thing we can make, we can make four of them. And here's what a balloon looks like if you fold it that big. So instead of a balloon this big, now we've got a balloon this big. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Phil, wait a minute, why stop there? Look, I can take this piece of paper and I can fold it in half this way and in half this way, creating four even smaller squares. And if we cut one of those out, now we're getting 16 balloons from one piece of paper. If, if you can fold it that tiny. I'm going to try. <laughs> I did it! So, instead of a balloon this big, we've made four balloons this big, or you could make 16 balloons this big. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Phil, could you do it even more? And it gets really tough to go past this with the balloon fold because the tucking, the flaps in those little pockets becomes nearly impossible. But if you can do it, post a picture to my question hub on Facebook and I will totally give you kudos for being able to fold that small. So there you go, origami balloon. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> Take two, origami balloon. Uh, uh, I'll work on it. <laughs> Until next time, stay curious.